Ladies. Hi guys. I'm gonna open this one. This is how to wear a leather skirt. Cool, huh? Because there, there has to be a new way of wearing leather skirt because they've been around, wow, since the 60s. Oh, very long, long time. time. Very long time. So we have this gorgeous new one. What do I love about this? What do you love about it? I love the tie. I love the tie. I feel like this is really, really sexy, but you're not kind of bearing all, and I feel quite covered and tight in here because it's got another secret layer underneath. We'll show you the secret layer, but this suction cap. What you know, it has like this fold over, which we planned to make it the gut buster. So you tie it as tight as you want, and it kind of holds that tummy area in, and also detracts from any tummy issue stuff. Okay. And then you can even do, like I've done, side tuck with mine, because just in case I didn't want to show my tummy, look at that. It's mm -hmm. well hidden, but shows this off, and it looks hot. It does look hot. And I think because it's made of split. True, and the tie really does hide a lot of tummy. I've got mine done a front tuck, just to show you guys more of the skirt, but actually I think that looks best. I'll do it later. Um, where yes. you're just showing this tie, and it sort of is a bit concealing everything else. But you know what? This is almost like... The version of adding a belt without having to add a belt. So true. Yeah. So if you're the girl that, gee, wanted to, you know, play around with belts, maybe even an apple shape, this could be for you. Yes, because so true. You don't have to add the belt. Yeah. It's got this beautiful elastic, soft elastic on the top. We call this brushed elastic. It's beautiful and soft to wear. And then this becomes the belt. Yes. <laughs> and it's off to the side. Around. Mm, yeah, and really we nice. recommend you don't tie it in a bow, by the way, and just leave it hanging like this, because it's nice and flat. You don't want to have a bow that poofs out. Yeah. Is that the word? Poofs out. Yeah, poofs out. out. Poofs out, poofs out, out, whatever. No, it doesn't poof on out. <laughs> <laughs> That's you don't have to stick them out anyway. Yeah, but right. we do do a double knot, and the other thing with this is you can kind of make it a bit tighter or loose up with the tie. So although it's sized and the fabric is very stretchy, machine washable, all that stuff that's very easy care, you can slightly make it tighter if you want sort of that tightness over your tummy or not. You can have a play with it because it, it'll keep the same look. You just do what's comfortable yeah. for you. Most of us are lucky that any excess weight can carry on our tummies as women because we have the babies, you know. It's sort of squishy so you can get it in there and hold it in with a good yeah. knot. <laughs> All right, now we're going to show you the layer underneath because I think this is a key part of this skirt. What it is, it's a very, very strong but very, very comfortable stretch jersey. So all that jersey fabric that you love kind of keeps you in there and it makes me feel quite secure. For me, I, I don't know how confident I feel sometimes in a single layer skirt because I only had a baby 12 months ago. My body is not feeling like it did and to be honest, I'm not going to change it. It's staying how it is. I can't be bothered. I'll just wear double layer skirts. Well, the double layer is <laughs> definitely more, uh, it does have more of a safety feel. And it does. And it does have yes. a safety hold. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. You know, double thickness, so it has to work. Uh, anyway, ours work, I don't know about anyone. Yeah, but ours sure do. So, so, guys, there are two main trends in wearing skirts. Um, pretty much all types of skirts, to be honest, but we are referring this back to the leather skirt. But again, tube yes, skirt. Well, Tight yeah. skirt, even a pleat skirt can almost go in with these oh, things. Oh, it actually could. It would look hot. We yeah. should have thought of that. If you've got a pleat skirt, you use the same tricks. Yeah, even those jersey skirts that we did last year, we did like the, the, the jersey pleat. This would be the same awesome. concept. Awesome, exactly. So the yeah. rule is, number one, you want to wear an oversized jumper. See how our jumper's oversized? We're going to show you a couple of op options here. Yeah. So what are you don't, wearing? Don't wear your little jersey top with this. I don't think you get the same look. If you want to be fashionista. Definitely, if, if it's a function thing, great. But for fashion, we're talking this. So I'm saying, yes, definitely a big top. But this is one of my favourite looks, a big, chunky look with this skirt. Yeah, I, I've got to and say, this, this is probably one of my favourite looks as well, yeah. definitely. When, when the weather allows, the boots, I think, are pretty hot. Otherwise, yeah. I could have worn it with sandals, but I just wanted to give you a different look because Lauren's wearing her heels and her sandals. Yeah, and I think it's a good casual look because I can see this being able to be done to places that are sort of that mid-level dressiness like going to, to to work or going to your friend's house this is more appropriate appropriate whereas wearing it with a heel like mine it does take it into a little bit more of a special occasion it um, is, yes this is more runabout run that's more dressy yes stuff. that's right but you know what a flat knee high riding style boot or a combat nice. boot would look amazing as well 
the riding boot that we talked about, I mean, we've got them over there, we could pull them out. Any of the flat shoes on the horse over this, in yeah, fact, yeah, yeah, yeah. or a very edgy look, oh, I feel like running over there and grabbing You can get it, and I'll talk about my top. Yeah. So I'm wearing the Sienna Jacquard something top. I'm so sorry, I can't even remember what this top's called. Let me see if the tag's on it. Is this oh, a bit of a stretch around? Let me see. Oh. Oh, that's really creative of us. The Animal Jacquard Jumper. <laughs> we need to get better on those names. And Easy. we can't even remember it. That's how bad it is. We don't even know what it is and it's like the most obvious word. I would have put oh, those yeah. right there, even side on. Yes. I wanted to just turn a little bit side on. How cool is that? that? I mean, um, that in the screen, maybe pull them back. I don't know. Okay, yeah, to right. Sorry. It kind of just gives you a totally different vibe. I know they're a bit big on, they will be because they're model size. And um, the riding boot, I'll put these in front of you too just because it's easier with you doing it there. The riding boot look can be have your skirt over the and top. You'd have it here. And shall I put it underneath? Let me try it this way. You're gonna slide it in there. Slide it in there because you're wearing it. There is a real trend guys where not showing and you can show your leg, but not showing any leg. Is That's that, cool. Actually no you don't can want to Can you tell? Leg. Yes, it's cool. Looks yes. really cool. Not showing your leg is very, very fashion forward. So you don't need to have a slither of leg in there. If you want to do a knee high boot, over the knee boot, under your skirt. Yeah, it's cool. Knee high boots are a bit of a trend this winter. So when it gets cold, you may want to do that. Mm. So I just thought we'd show you that because of the look. It is. So we want you guys to be experimenting with your jumpers. And you can look at jumpers that you bought last year. The key is they have to be big, oversized. oversized wide and sloppy. And it doesn't matter how chunky they are, you know, how, chunkier you know they are. how to do the, the, the tuck, you fold it up to where you want to have it and then do a pleat on the bottom part so that you can just tuck a little bit in your skirt. It's easy as when you go to the bathroom. I know you have to play with it, but you know, it is easy and it's not all this extra, excess bulk inside your skirt. That's right. So we'll give you one more close up at this with a bit of a side tuck to show off this knot. Faye's top actually is wider at the bottom. Mine, I just love these two colours together. See oh, how mine sensation. actually comes in at the bottom? So I think that in general, if you love the colour, this one works. This is probably good for That's a pear and tuck. apple shape. Uh, and, uh, apple and uh, pear shape, and that one would be suitable for the, all the other shapes. What do you think okay. about that? Yeah, yeah. That but might it's be probably, inside, but not yeah. really. It's so probably dependent anything. on the colour, really. Yeah. Yeah, Go for the, the colour you want, but that one will give you more coverage over the tummy. Yes. If you want a front tuck, yes, that's mine because it's in. I'm, I'm, you know, it's it's just smaller when I want to tuck it. But so this I'm not gives you that much. fabulous cape effect at the back. That one doesn't. That's more slimline, isn't it? That's right. That's right. Have a side on. Do you want a little bit of a side on and show everybody? There we go. Oh, I don't know. I was standing over there. So oh, okay. I, well, you got it. I think you've got it. All right. We're going to show you another jumper, just so that you can get the gist of having. Oh, so we're wearing all size tens, by the way, and I'm an eight. But you can see the skirt on Lauren to me is a much better fit. So don't go up a size, whatever you do. It's got to be tight. I think it's much nicer on Lauren being a 10 and she's wearing a 10, as opposed to me being an eight and I'm wearing a 10. Because yep. I think the fact that um, you, can wear it you know, it's you know. firmer on Lauren is much nicer. I'll just, show, I'll just stand back here a moment and have a look at the bottom of the hem. The way to look slimmer in these skirts is that it really nips in at the bottom. See how mine goes straight down? That's just a size thing. If I were 10, I'd fill it out like Lauren. It's a lot more flattering, mm -hmm. even if you can't tell. Just trust me, I'm a designer. Yeah, we know. We know these things. <laughs> um, and of course, it's very easy to actually pull up a little bit lower or higher on your waist. I like to wear things really oh, up yeah. high on my waist. That's just a bit of a really. You don't need to. You can have it a little bit lower. So if you are tall, check it out on the models on our website. They're closer to the spectrum of six foot, five foot two and five foot. So that's sort of why I like to wear it up on my waist as well. Just just something on this height thing too that you may not realise. When we design something, we kind of design for five foot five and a half, five foot six, because that's apparently average height and standard height. So the length we make it is for that Kind of person, not for us, not not for us. In case you're wondering if we design for us, so when you say, "Oh, I wish it looked like me on you," or something along those lines, it was never meant to. It's the, just that we're short. Mm. Yeah. We kind of tweak it to make it suit us, but yeah, you'll have to play around. But you you wear it the way it's actually designed. Now for the ladies that Ooh, are love this, love this. But I, love, I even don't like that left out. I must Ooh, say. Yes. The, I'll leave it out then. Quick, quickly for the ladies that are really in between sizes and they're really unsure. 
I'm going to go out on a limb here and say choose the smaller size. Me too. Because you go want down. it to be sexy, otherwise you're going to look like a frumpy dad. It'll make you look older if it's not sexy tight. No. The whole point is making it really, see, like to me, I'd like this tight, I'd like it more like that. Yeah, you really yeah. want to get that look shape. That. If I get that, how hot do I look? But I'm in, um, I've got that. <laughs> and I'm going to have it run in without a doubt as soon as our souls come back. I think they're back today. Yeah, so <laughs> oh, I don't look funny. sexy hot. You know, when you're getting older in, in age, you want to make sure there's something you've still got in there that you've forgot about. Especially all these hot legs. legs you that's all got the hot legs. legs. Definitely make it tighter. Yeah. Actually, anybody. You're all going to have We've all got hot legs. And hot body. Especially in this skirt. Yeah. All right, so this is another example of an oversized jumper. This is our fluffy V over top. It does come in a range of colours. Um, and I think that actually, like my skirt would look stunning with the pale pink and it would look great with the black. Yours looks great with the navy, it would look great with the black, probably also would look quite good with the pink. I don't know that I'd swap our jumpers though. Like would you wear that with the green and that no, with the green? Well, I, I actually I'll we'll try. try. Oh, we'll, we'll try. Should we just do it? Yeah, try. yeah. Okay. Yeah, because this is pretty yeah. good. So this is the vibe, and again, yeah. we're doing the the side I'm tuck. Tiny, I don't know if you saw the post of the white pants with the ivory jumper. This is that look, but in the darker mm -hmm. colours. Very sophisticated. And I guess that's it. When you're to doing a tonal thing, it becomes more sophisticated. I yes, guess. Yes. Yes. I guess it makes it sophisticated. Yeah. And if you don't want to do your off shoulder, yeah, you I mean, really you've like got to do these just things. like this and just yeah. add your. Your fake pretty necklaces, necklaces or whatever, yeah, or your bangles or whatever you have out there. You know, what or your you, headband. Or the, the trending thing is your watch and your rings. Oh, but yes. I always want to do gold rings, but my wedding and engagement ring aren't gold. So I'm well, like, you know what? Don't worry, just, just, just do it. it. No, just do it. Yeah. I swear, you've got to mix to, to be young and funky, ladies. You've got to mix your metals. In fact, we've got some new jewelry coming with mixed metals and I do like mixed metals. Thing. I do love shells, it's just sometimes it just doesn't work with my engagement ring. Oh, I, don't I might need another one. Might need. <laughs> Josh, if you're watching, oh, there you get go. to it. Oh, look at that, you can't say that. I That's actually really hot. love this. Oh, yes. Ignore what I just said. How good is this? Hot. Oh, my goodness. This How good is does that so look? Cool. I'm just trying to get the light and then Faye, you can come in. Yeah, I'll come in too. I love the navy. You can't yeah. leave me out of this because it's, you know, just such a hot look. How good does that look? Oh, yeah. Now we're going to add to our wardrobe again, Lauren. Another colour jumper. This is what I actually said to someone on Facebook this morning. I'm going to just have to go with every colour because they all do a different vibe. They do a totally you different know, vibe. It's so cool. Yeah, I you know. We have many jumpers can a girl have? I said about a 10 or 20. A lot. We can in, have the, a lot. In, this, in this stuff. Okay, right. so now we're going for a different vibe all together. Now we're going to show you the other look you can do, which is, but, but really, if, when in doubt, go a big jumper and a skirt. That is like... That's Done. That, and you can do any shoe. That, yeah, that's that other staple. You know when you have your go-to things, like one is um, uh, jeans and, and uh, a t well, it used to be a t-shirt, but now it's a jeans and shirt. So you can certainly do that. Well, the other look is just a skirt and a big jumper. You know, we're sure. looking for that's right. the pieces of the season. Yeah, that's right. And actually, I'm just having a little think. For those of you who have bought our leather at Calotte, they yeah. also came in... These colours. I think they came in these colours and a black. I'm thinking that everything from today's principles actually applies to, to, the, apply to the collot because they're kind of, they're not a skirt, but you know, it's a bit yeah, of a Yeah, they're kind of in between. In fact, you know, I, I just, like, no wonder Lauren thinks all I want to do is wear baggy pants because I've just got every baggy pant around. Love that look, and I think you're right, Lauren. I think with that big yeah, jumper. Yeah, today's principles yeah, everything really. Will work, yeah. yeah. How are you going to wear yours so we don't do oh, match? Okay. Gonna wear, I'll wear mine undone, maybe you do a okay, shot. All right, so what we're doing here is doing a shirt because you know how shirts are so in. But I think that what you want, and you can do any shirt by the way, we've just picked this shirt because we showed you yesterday. And, trying to and it's a cool shirt. Yeah. Doing you more ideas. Are you going to do a front tuck? Well, I was thinking of at least doing a side tuck. I thought you might have been doing the button up to the neck look. I am. And a full half tuck, yeah? Okay, yeah. And I'll do the half yep. tuck maybe. So um, you could also do the, the Chelsea shirt that we shown you, showed you yesterday. That, that would be just as good as well. You, you can experiment with any of your shirts. Yeah, this is actually quite nice, just as is. Oh, it accidentally goes in my grey boots. Oh. How cool. How cool. How convenient. Yeah, and I'll leave these grey boots on because I think they're funky. But, you know, you, you do your favourite boot, shoe, sneaker, strappy shoe, all those things that will do the same thing. Because it is a, uh, out of everything, don't you think that shoes really bring out a personality? Oh am my I, gosh! Am I like, you need a good pair of shoes. Up the wrong trees, we don't sell shoes. I 
I probably am, I'm so sorry, but you know, shoes are shoes. I think that that really says something about your personality, just like Lauren's shoes today, mm. with that outfit, are really saying something about her um, femininity, mm. and my, my boots are saying something about my edginess. Yeah, yeah, yeah from a shape sure. like that. I think that you do need to make sure that your shoe is looking on a trend. You're gonna do full tuck. I know, right? I'm doing a half tuck, because it just looks better. Does it? Okay. We're right. conscious of the tummies, and this okay. is perfect because it really looks this, good. This is yeah. the ultimate tummy holder ring skirt, and that just hides it. So it's silly to do anything else. We stick to the heart. Totally, and I to like just having that little tuck. hint. Yeah, the hint is cute. Yeah, yeah. Um, but what I was going to say is, you guys have probably noticed I pretty much wear these shoes every day. I'm not saying you need to go out and buy a pair of shoes like this, but if you get a pair of on-trend shoes, you can actually wear them with nearly everything. They go with everything. So I think if you get one really on-trend shoe. A year at least, or a season, you know, a winter and a summer. Yeah. Well, I, don't I feel like really you can wear them every day. I mean, I shouldn't have bought any of the other shoes and just bought this pair, but I haven't yeah, buy that I've one. I've I'm just wearing this one. I bought three stilettos and I've just worn my green ones to death. Uh, they'll fall apart. Actually, I've never had a pair of shoes that fall apart just because I wore them so much. Yeah. And I probably didn't need the others, but I do like rock my red ones. I, I know, I like to wear red shoes. Just same so worst case scenario, you know, if you have a lot of shoes, you're going to have more choice, but. But you don't need You might to. be too busy buying clothes. Yeah. It just looks like, just, just because we're, you know, shoe queens, that we just buy shoes in, you know, for yeah. whatever, but we actually don't. We don't wear... We, we sort of do. I just always, always do it the same. Okay. Shoes. Yeah, that's all right. Okay, so we've but done the shirt. I'm just in a hole. It on. looked really good without the blazer, but we're showing you also with a blazer if you do want to add that jacket. I really love the combo of this. That's cool. Putty, really blazer. Cool brown animal and then you've got your green underneath a black skirt which we're going to show you guys black combos up at the end of all this if you want to hang around but I think a black skirt would also look really good with this I'm loving it am I coming up to I don't think I love that combo you don't like it no I don't know if I do I feel like the black's too strong and the skirt's too strong you've got two heroes I think one needs to go what do you think do you agree well, I don't dislike it but it's not my favorite outfit no I think the Santo blazer yeah, I love the, the it doesn't the, quite work, but I yes. do like the pinstripe blazer. I'll bet that's going to try work. that. So, um, so I think that here. the plain black Santo blazer really matched the shirt, and the skirt really looks good with the shirt. But all three, they were all trying to be the king. Mm. This is a twelve. I might just I'll oh, skip the twelve. But I was going to say I do have a ten somewhere, but I haven't got it here. This is a bit softer because it's got the white stripe and very neutral at the same time. That's actually really interesting. I do like the combo. The black, the, the black, black. I think this is too better. Much. Yeah, I think it was just too strong. You're right. I prefer it like this. So now we've actually got the same outfit on, just in different colourways, which I think is is funky. I'd wear wear it like this already. Yeah, for sure. I do. Probably. Yes. Yes. My hair has to go that yes, way. Yes. 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 It does. It does. I don't have a pin to put it out, but if it was up, then yeah, it that's right. Okay. All right, so should we show some uh, black combinations using these same principles? Okay, so we'll just put on a couple of black outfits and then we're done. Yeah, do you want so to do it quick? So why don't we? I'm going to... Do you want to put the skirt on? Yes, I will. I'm black is yes. maybe you can, can put the jump on or something. I'm just going to change the skirt anyway. Yep, sure. Cool. So I will show you guys um, what the black fluffy jumper looks like with my skirt because I think by having a few key black oversized jumpers you're going to be able to wear them with everything but when you go a color sometimes it can be a little bit more limiting so i will take this off so you get the full effect and this is the black so these jumpers come in a size 8 to 16 and we are wearing size 8 I love the black skirt, it is just so... Oh yeah, that's hot. It is just so my edgy look, isn't it? This is the black with the green. The black jumper can be worn with all of the skirts because they've got um, sort of... Oh, I don't know how you can see. Sort of actually got this black... The colour is actually a bright green, well, a dark bright green underneath, but then it's got this black foil overlay. And that's why anything black will match all of these skirts. Yes, well, that's a good point, actually. I'll put this blue, and then we can probably do a bit of a swap. Because I love this. I love this blue, blue with uh, yes. your green skirt, actually. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, it looks amazing over your outfit. So I love cool. that. Yeah, really cool. Just really, really cool. I like the collar messed up, but rather than turned down, looks cool. Yeah, I've got a jewish, you know, because it's it too big. How good does that look? It's again, it's so, it's, it's so like indicative of how this oversized jumper looks really good with this skirt. But the, I think the most important thing is really to show this little part of your waist or make sure your skirt is really tight and then actually you could wear your jumper out. Don't and, you? you know, you, you can. Look, there's no reason why you can't. To me, I feel like I've got a shush, but, you know. I think in that you do because your skirt's not tight enough. That's right, if yeah. it was really skin tight, I didn't go down. Oh, well, now it's one size too big. And you're, the, would you do an eight? Yeah, yeah, I would. If yeah. it came in an eight, I would. So, yeah. if you haven't got it, if, you, if you've you know, got slimish legs for your size, I'd go down size. Yeah, make sure it's going to, because you, you won't have a problem with comfort because it's very stretchy. Yeah. But mine is worn just with the jumper out. So if you are a bit conscious of your tummy, you don't need to be good. doing a tuck. But just make sure your skirt's tight, otherwise you're going to look like a front. Shall we do a swap? Yep. There is actually a oh, black shirt. That's yes, what I should have done. definitely. Should have done well, maybe you can do the black shirt for some at the end. Yes. Okay. Okay. Because I love this black shirt, which we showed yesterday. Our Chelsea shirt. Yes, the Chelsea shirt with the fabulous cuts. Because this is, to me, going to be one of those super duper easy outfits. Very where comfy. you wear all black, you do a bit of a zhuzh tuck, either half tuck or whatever. And, okay, did I do that well? Yeah, I did that well enough. Considering I didn't even look at what I was doing, I just threw it together mm. and just pull up your sleeves. I think this is a pretty cool look. That is definitely a boss look. Sure. I think so. And then you could do a blazer or you could throw over a jumper. Well, I could throw this black jump yeah. down to see how that works. Sure. As an all black look. This is the blue and green. I've got to say, I love those two tones together. Yeah, it's me just too. the right blue. It is just the right blue, isn't it? Yeah, very cool. I think in general, you probably, you know, it's harder to work dark navy. And this jump is not dark navy. This is still a, a rich blue. But if you have a really, really, really dark navy, that's when you've got to work your outfit more when you're doing a dark green. But I think that all these are easy. I don't think you need to work it. So when it gets cold, I think this is a fabulous outfit because I can just take off my jumper when yeah, nice. I get to work, really have that nice. underneath and look like a boss, have yeah. my boots on, look cool, funky. For sure, that is an easy look. Easy look. Yeah, oh, really I easy. Think, Very I edgy. Think this is my pick today, and I think that's my pick for you. It's stunning. I love that outfit. Tick. Yay. So we're tick, tick. <laughs> <laughs> We're done, actually. <laughs> All right, ladies, so we will be back at uh, 7.30 on Sunday, and what we're going to be showing you is seven ways to wear leather-look pants. Fingers crossed we're going to give you some inspo for your week ahead. So tune in Sunday, 7.30 Melbourne time, and, yeah, you'll get some inspiration for the week. No Love one wants it. to be stuck trying yeah. to figure out what to wear on Monday morning. It will be an outfit for every day of the week. Tick, 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 easy. Okay, bye for now. See you guys.